Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has recently rolled out their latest version of the Power Toys app, and that was made available for both Windows 10 and 11. And after you have upgraded, this latest stable release will be bumped up to version 0.67.0. Now, over and above the numerous fixes, improvements, and other changes to uh, different utilities and power toys, um, I would consider the key highlight for this latest release, version 67, to be the new quick access system tray launcher that I did post on um, last year when it was still in development and now with version 0.67.0 has rolled out um, as I would consider to be the key highlight and the key feature for this latest release. Now just to demonstrate, um, if we head to the system tray, as mentioned very similar to the Windows 11 uh, quick access menu and system tray launcher, if we click on the Power Toys icon in the system tray, it now launches its own quick access system tray launcher where as i did mention last year when i did post that previous video you just get access to the different shortcuts for different tools and obviously that just makes it a lot easier and quicker to access your favorite um, utilities from the power toys app now just to go through a couple of the features and um, if we click on more in the top right yeah we can obviously turn on and toggle on and off the different uh, utilities depending on your own personal choice and preference. I've just toggled them all on just to demonstrate for the purpose of today's video. And in the bottom right of the menu, um, you have access to more documentation regarding Power Toys. You can uh, give feedback by um, submitting a bug report. And if you click on the gear icon, the settings that obviously takes you over to the actual app where you get. Um, access to all the different utilities, settings, options, and so on. And as I did mention previously, it almost seems that Power Toys, with all the different um, utilities and features that have rolled out recently, now including its own uh, quick access menu and system trade launcher, it almost feels like Power Toys is almost becoming its own operating system in, to some extent. But nonetheless, Power Toys now has its own quick access menu that you can launch from the system tray. Now, just to go through a couple of the um, other uh, key highlights and bug fixes, because as mentioned, um, over and above the quick access menu that's rolled out, there are some other key bug fixes just to go through. And regarding the awake utility, um, they've disabled uh, instead of hiding keep screen on options. So that's a bit of a... Um, a improvements or fix regarding the awake uh, tool and then uh, if we just head back to the quick access launcher and launch the fancy zones editor uh, just to show you how that all works and and regarding the fancy zones and um, they have improved the code quality for va for the fancy zones editor for power toys and when it comes to the image resizer which is a tool uh, that lets you and resize images by right clicking on an image um, locally on your um, in your system drive or on your hard drive they've improved the code quality around a silent crash that was causing the image resizer to crash so those are a couple of the fixes but over and above those numerous improvements and um, bug fixes that have rolled out as mentioned um, power toys now gets its own quick access system tray launcher now in version 67 so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.